Hello, welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. My name is Adam, and today I have another Dwarven Forge unboxing. More Wildlands. Wildlands plants, in fact. I got the Swamp Tree Toppers, the Fairy Glade, and the uh, Glamour Leaf pack. Basically, uh, some of the plants that I missed on during the Kickstarter, when they showed up in the web store, I hopped on to get some of that. And I'm going to start with this small little box here, the Glamour Leaf pack, which is just one Glamour Leaf. Kind of got to have a mini to show scale on something like this. <laughs> I was like, eh, let's grab a little figure because this is a giant plant. This is a uh, eat a person kind of sized plant. This is eat multiple people. <laughs> uh, big old, big old plant. Yeah. Then this pulls out because it's got some electronics in it. So first, let's just take a look around. Very pretty. The switches on the bottom, they never do that. That's so... So, and then turn it on. You can kind of see, not only does it light up here from the bottom, but all these fiber optics light up at the top. Now, there is an on the anvil they take one of these and they show how they make it look the way it looks in all their videos. You see, because if you just bunch all these together, these fiber optics are all the exact same height. And they slightly trimmed the outside ones so that they're at different heights. And it looks really pretty. And I intend to do it. But also, that is taking us scissors to this, so I am going to have to do very careful. <laughs> but yeah, essentially, like you can you can trim these, and uh, whatever height they're at, that point at the top is where the little beam of light is going to sit. So if you trim them instead of them all being at one plane, they will kind of sit down at lower elevations around the outside, or however you you trim it for. But yeah, so there is the. Glamour leaf. And even without the light, it's very pretty. <laughs> then we get to the fairy glade. Some uh, trees and such. First thing in here. It's the Shitter Fond. Um, I have one of these from the set that I have. Decent sized plant. I think this is UV reflective, so if you have like a black light or something, the top of this will kind of almost glow. I do not have a black light. But yeah, Shitter Fond. Which having an extra doesn't hurt, but that's not why I got this pack. I got it for the fancy trees. Okay. Do not remember the names of the two trees. Uh, but this is WT703 is the code for it. And these are some freestanding trees. Uh, oh, looks like they do have magnets in there, although they're painted over. But they're in there. So it'll stick to a terrain tray. From the base of the tree here. There are flowers in various colors and, and some yellow, which I don't feel like I see a ton of in the wildlands. That's a nice look. Looks like maybe mushrooms growing up the side. And on all these outstretched branches, we have sort of groupings of leaves with like an iridescent 
and color deficient either blue or purple at the end of it. So, kind of a Feywild looking tree. Oh, there's some mushrooms way up there too. Way up here. Just a little mushrooms grouped growing all the way up. Oh, 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 and there's right there. So right here is a little, you can kind of see there's a little bug <laughs> sort of caught in the shadow. Anyways, it's a beautiful, large tree, freestanding, a bird's nest, all sorts of little details. Very pretty. So we get our other tree from that set. Also, sort of Feywild sort of tree. Tall compared to the first. Taller, but not as outstretched. So this one has a very definite like spiral helix. Big magnet on the bottom. Again, painted over. Little details, things growing up the the bark. And more iridescence at the tips of leaves for this sort of again Feywild looking tree. Yeah, just a couple variety of fancy trees, magic looking trees, Feywild trees, whatever your your need is there. For uh, some special, special looking trees. And Swamp Tree Toppers is the final box, so I've also pulled out from my existing collection a couple of stump lumps because these are going to need something to plug into. There are two of this tree. Take one out. And it goes on the small stump lump. So it will need that for it to stand. But otherwise, tall, slender tree. Kind of droopy look. Got a couple of these now. Can make again they call them you know swamp trees, although the actual swamp set only came with dead trees. Um, these kind of give it sort of a more of an alive swamp. Um, you know, trees that grow in areas with a lot of moisture, I suppose. Nice area for Minnie to hide up in the trees. I love that. That's fun. Love when there's a good spot for some, some figure to perch. Especially if I'm going to set something up and just sort of leave it there for my players. As they're looking and they're like, wait a minute, there's someone standing up there. And then they got to get their character to notice it. Yeah, that's fun. But, uh, yeah. So, big marshy tree. And then we have our... Willow tree, which has a large piece. <laughs> uh, it is all hollow in there, so pushing down on it uh, to try and get the base to connect is making the actual tree flex. Although I suppose it's staying. This one, of course, clearly shorter, about as wide, but it's a large trunk, sort of looking a little more beefy, 
In this one, you could really hide up a mini up into, and the players would have no way of seeing that it's in there. You gotta, like, shake it to get it out. <laughs> uh, this is the willow tree. There's a knot there. Some moss growing on it. Yeah. So again, a couple colors there. And with the Feywild ones, the, the blues, just so much variety in the color that you can add. It's like these ones, they, they can just go into a normal forest. You know, they're swamp trees, but any forest that has, you know, you know that isn't in a special area where it's not going to have very enough moisture, like these can just go there. They'll suck up moisture around them. That's fine. That'll work. And then you have a variety of color and shape in your forest canopy. And so that is fun. And that's why I picked up just, you know, random grouping of plants. Some more trees and the glamour leaf. You know, to make for magical and Feywild stuff, and then just a little more variety. So, yeah. Simple enough. A few different sets of new plants. <laughs> but good to have, I think. Um, because, you know, when, when, you, when I first got Dread Hollow Forest, and it was all the same trees, I mean, it was a little uh, boring. It got the job done, but not exciting. With Wildlands, they added so many dead trees and, like, gnarly, like, poisoned trees. And they added the evergreens and the swamp trees and the Feywild trees and other cool plants with cool special effects. All kinds of variety now. So, fun to mix it up. And, uh, yeah, I'll, of course, link where you can check out Dwarven Forge's website, see what is available, what is in stock, as that is always something to keep an eye out for, and add it to your wish list if you're interested in, because that lets them know you want it. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff that does help me out. I appreciate it if you do, and thank you for watching. Bye.